hello there. Today we're gonna do some cursed things, or maybe good things, but probably cursed things. You guys seem to really enjoy the last time I did ranking TikTok hacks. So I found four more. Yes, I managed to scrape up four more coffee-related TikTok things that have either gone viral or have gotten many, many views. We are going to try them here today. We are going to rate them zero to 10, and we're gonna see how that goes. Now, there are two things we're gonna do today that I think are gonna be very good. In fact, I don't see how they could be bad. So I'm very excited about that. However, the other half of the equation, the, the other two hacks slash viral videos I have, maybe a little bit more questionable. So we're gonna get into those, and honestly, I think we should just get started. And as all coffee videos start out, I need to place an order at McDonald's. I'm not even kidding you. I am placing an order at McDonald's right now because we need some things from there. These are gonna be for the later hacks, but in order to get it in time, let's place it now. You know, I'm looking for three very specific things. Although looking at the menu, I didn't realize how many coffee related things they had. I think my favorite listing here is premium hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to what? I like the idea that there's a there's like a budget hot chocolate and then there's a premium hot chocolate. I promise you, there there is a plan for this. This is not me just ordering stuff for myself. Although the fact that I will get to consume this later is definitely a plus. Okay. Our order is in. Let's get started with our other two hacks of the day. Now this first hack is something that seems to just be like an overall online trend. And it's, it's making very Instagrammable coffee or what, what people are calling Instagrammable coffee. Something that's cute and pretty. And you might see, I imagine it like a bachelorette party or a bridal shower. That's kind of, that's the vibes I'm kind of getting from this. But looking at our video, we're gonna start off with some champagne flutes. We have white chocolate. We also have sprinkles and a sugar cone. So we're making a sprinkle rim with the white chocolate. We are then placing it inside our champagne flute, adding cold coffee, topping with whipped cream, some additional sprinkles, and then we have, in theory, an Instagram worthy coffee. We've done something similar to this before. It didn't go super well. However, I did make multiple mistakes on it last time. So we are going to follow this exactly step by step. We're going to see how it turns out. Maybe this will be a much better version. Let's get started. To my utter shock and surprise, I was even able to find what I think is pretty much the exact same sprinkles that she's using in the video. So we have two sugar cones. We have a large amount of white chocolate. We're not using a chocolate sauce this time. So in theory, our rim should work a lot better. If you remember last time we tried to do this, we just used Hershey's chocolate sauce and it was questionable at best. Then we have some cold coffee and I also have whipped cream. Oh, the most important thing. Oh my God, no, sorry. <laughs> I forgot the vacuum turns on at two o'clock. Anyways, I think the first thing we need to do is melt down our white chocolate chips into a pasty sort of consistency. I'm going to use the microwave because I'm fancy like that. Oh, and what I was saying earlier, we also need our champagne flutes. Okay, I think this is a reasonable consistency. Oh wow, white chocolate is obscenely delicious. This is very good. Sprinkle time. Let's just do a blend of all of these. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, those are fun. These are, these are very pretty. Oh, gold sparkles. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of these. White sparkles. And I imagine I should stir this up. I think the next steps are take, and then dunk, and then dunk, then place, and then pour, and then consume. I think those are all the actions we need to take next. Now, just to be... Hmm. That's a problem. Give me a second. <laughs> all right, I can fix this. Give me a moment. Let's just think of this as an opportunity for some more flair around the rim of our glass. I like to think this will make our coffee treat even more Instagram worthy. That's fine, right? Start off with a nice, a nice amount, a healthy amount, if you will, of melted white chocolate. Okay, so far so good. And then into the sprinkles. Now we go inside our little champagne flute, to which I'm supposed to now add cold coffee. This is a good distinction. I believe last time I added hot coffee, which was very much an issue because it kind of just melted the cone and just dripped out of the bottom. So hopefully cold coffee will improve it slightly. <sighs> I 
I gotta go check the video again. Okay, but it looks like they coated the inside of the cone as well. I have nothing to lose. Let's coat the inside of our cone as well. This is harder than I thought it would be. And I have made sure there, there is a decent amount of chocolate right at the bottom. So in theory, it'll harden and we'll have some sort of seal. Now, I will say that this is giving me very much like 2014 Instagram vibes, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I just don't know if this is the sort of thing I would see on Instagram nowadays. This kind of has the same energy as those like milkshakes where it's a milkshake, but then it's like 18 cookies and a brownie and an entire pile of cotton candy on top. That's the kind of Instagram worthy I think this might be. Test two, let's cool down the chocolate a little bit. Just normal Morgan things, just a champagne flute of sugar coat next to my pupusas. Normal things. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think let's just add our coffee and let's add our whipped cream. And let's see if this is actually Instagram worthy. Oh, come on. It's not Instagram worthy if my coffee is just being like peed out the bottom of the cone for lack of a better word. Cheers. You know, fair enough, actually. There is still a decent, I can feel there's a decent amount of coffee still left in here, so. I guess here goes nothing. It's a mouthful of sugar, but I like it. The flavors are good. In fact, there is, there is a good amount of coffee still left in here. Kinda just gotta shoot it and then continue snacking. Now, the question seems to be, is this Instagram worthy? I would say no, personally. However, flavor-wise, this is pretty tasty. It's white chocolate and sugar and coffee and a crunchy cone. So you've got both flavor and texture. So in that way, I think there is some good to it. What would I rate it out of 10? I would probably give this TikTok hack a five out of 10. That feels right. I, I don't think it is what it is striving to be, however, in another way, I still think it's, it's, it's kind of a good thing. So five out of 10, next hack. Okay, the next hack we have is coffee brewing with eggshells, not eggs, but eggshells. The idea is you're taking the bitterness out of your coffee by brewing with eggshells mixed into your coffee grounds. So looking at the video, we're gonna start off by taking clean eggshells and then grinding them up as fine as possible. Uh, mm, <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Was that the right filter to put in that brewer? Okay, we're just, we're gonna move, we're gonna move on past that. That is definitely a flat bottomed filter. Anyways, we're gonna then just put our, our pasty little eggshells inside and then just brew our coffee as normal. Now, this is actually something that, that's not super insane. You know, when you, when you see this at first, this might seem very odd and like something that might not work, but the science is there. Coffee is a bitter acidic drink and eggshells are alkaline. So in theory, they will act to neutralize and or balance out the bitterness of coffee. In fact, based on my research, there are some recipes of campfire or even like cowboy coffee, if you will, that involve adding eggshells to, again, remove some of that really like strong, bitter flavor. Now, I would like to do kind of a control for this hack because I don't wanna accidentally like kind of placebo ourselves into thinking that the coffee is less bitter just because we think it's going to be. So we're going to brew one cup of coffee completely normally, just coffee, water, the normal. Then the next cup of coffee I'm going to brew is gonna be with the eggshells. Then we'll put them into marked cups. We will shuffle them up so in theory, I won't be able to know which one is which. We'll taste them and we'll make a guess on which one is less bitter. Then we can check the bottoms of the cup and find out which one is the eggshell coffee and which one isn't. Sound good? Good, okay, let's get started. While my water is heating up for our brew, let's get an eggshell nice and clean. I used to be able to do this with one hand. I'm a little out of practice now. Hi, buddy. You want to see the egg? <laughs> I know raw eggs make some people nervous, understandably so, but I will assure you that I have rinsed these very thoroughly with just a tiny bit of vinegar and then a ton of water. So hopefully we are not endangering ourselves in any way, but if we are, I'm just endangering myself and not you and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. So there is that. Now we'll dry them up. I'm gonna toss them in the bag cause I do not have a mortar and pestle and we're gonna just crush them. It's a good sound. 
Now, while I'm doing this very unseemly thing to this eggshell, I think that's pretty comparable to the TikTok. So let's brew our control cup of coffee and then we will brew our eggshell cup of coffee. On the bottom of the cup, I've marked this one as reg for regular. Now underneath this cup, it says egg for the egg coffee. <laughs> Reg and egg, <laughs> which is what they called me and my best friend in high school. It's a stupid joke. Now in the video, I believe they just dumped their egg on top. I feel like I should incorporate it a little bit. So I'm gonna add my egg. By the way, this is, for anyone curious, this is about four grams of egg. <laughs> I'm just gonna mix it in just a tiny bit. I, I don't know why, it just feels right. Let's get our water. There's a big part of me that wonders if when I imagine my parents' friends ask them what their children do for a living, they say one of them is a software engineer. The other one brews coffee with eggshells online. <laughs> kid. I'm having a nice time. I hope you are too. <laughs> also, hi mom and dad, if you're watching. <laughs> okay, we have two coffees here. Appearance-wise, they look the exact same. They, hang on. Yep, they smell the exact same. But we're gonna shuffle them up a little bit and then we're gonna taste them and uh, I'm saying we, I mean I. <laughs> I'm gonna taste them. I'm gonna see if I can figure out which one was brewed with the eggshells because in theory, it should be less acidic than the one that was brewed regularly. So we're just gonna... Do this very carefully. We'll do some like, some closed eye sort of like, this is dangerous. Okay, no, I'm gonna look. I'm actually gonna try slurping. I think that might be a little bit better than just taking sips. Interesting. They do taste different. I'll give them that. Okay. I have my guess as to which one is which, solely based on the fact that the one that I think has the egg in it, I do believe has a little bit less bite on it, has a little bit less of that kind of bitterness, but at the same time, that kind of like dulls it, if that makes sense. I don't think it's my favorite of the two, but I do think it is the one with the egg in it. And the one I think has the egg, was brewed with eggshells, is this one right here. I think this one has less bitterness in it, but I also think that it doesn't taste as good. So this one I think is the regular. Let's find out if I'm correct. <gasps> egg! <laughs> yes, I was correct. This one right here was brewed with eggshells. This one was not. So there was a tasteable difference between these two, which is kind of interesting, honestly. However, I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing. Perhaps if you're someone who doesn't want kind of that like higher, like tighter acidity in your coffee, then maybe brewing with eggshells could be something that you try, question mark. Although I do think it should be a last resort over alternating how you're brewing and maybe changing some of those variables before adding this like, third object, which is eggshells. That being said, I think this hack did work. I think it worked pretty well for what it was. I would give it an eight out of 10. Ta -da! Okay, let's do the next thing. So these last two hacks that we have are the McDonald's hacks that we ordered for earlier. And it's kind of a two for one sort of situation because these are similar enough that I think we should do them side by side and then decide which one is better than the other, rather than doing them kind of separately and treating them as their own separate thing. I think we should just try them both. So this first one is getting a McDonald's vanilla shake as well as having a double shot of espresso, adding your espresso to the shake, stirring it up, and then enjoying the wonderful coffee milkshake vanilla thing that you have created. I see nothing wrong with that. I think that is a fantastic idea. Now, the second one is slightly different, but also still kind of the same. It is getting a cold iced coffee. It is getting a vanilla cone or vanilla ice cream from McDonald's. And then it's mixing the two together and enjoying the drink that comes out of the two be mixed. Now, I did in fact time this just about perfectly. My McDonald's just arrived, so I'm gonna go grab that and then we will try this out. I'm very excited about this, but first things first, I need to put lactate in my body before I put any of this in my body. Dear lactate, if you would ever like to sponsor me, I would not be opposed. Okay, these two things are gonna go together. I also need a double shot of espresso. 
I don't know if y'all know this, but the magic of my house is that if you look into a mirror and whisper, I need espresso three times, one will appear. Just fun little facts about living with Morgan Drinks Coffee. So the situation we've got here is pouring that into this and stirring it and then putting that into this and stirring it and then consuming with reckless abandon. So. It really just, really just went right to the bottom, didn't it? Come on, integrate, please. I think that's the easiest hack we've done so far. Now, in most of the videos, you would have a cone that you would like dump upside down. We were not able to acquire a cone, so we're going to spoon. Spoon as much as humanly possible, I suppose. Hmm. You know, actually, this is a perfectly appropriate scenario for my obscenely long bar spoons. Lids back onto our wonderful creation. We need, we need straws. Aha! Two TikTok hacks. One, iced coffee with ice cream. And the other one, essentially ice cream with espresso. Which one is better? We'll start off with our lovely looking iced coffee and ice cream. You know, it's not as sweet as I was expecting. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's very good. It's not nearly as like creamy though, as I thought it would be. <sighs> oh my God, dairy is so, so good sometimes. That's, that's, there is, there is nothing. There's not a single bad thing I can say about this. This, adding double espresso to your McDonald's vanilla milkshake, that is, that is a match made in heaven. I think everyone needs to try this at least once in their life. Barring severe lactose intolerance, of course. If I had to rate them, I would give this first one an eight out of 10. It is very good. It is very tasty. However, I think it's very messy. I also think it's not as good as I thought it would be. Like I, I put like a solid, like, like you saw the hunk of ice cream I put in there. That was, that was a lot. And for the amount that I put in here, I don't think it's totally worth it. Now this one, this milkshake with espresso, that is getting, that's getting like a 12, <laughs> a 12 out of 10. That is so delicious. It is very easy. It was quite easy to mix up. It was pretty clean and it is like, Oh, it is like, a, like angels were singing above my head when I tasted that for the first time. So clearly this one is gonna be my favorite out of the two, but this one is also very yummy. And with that grand finale, those were four more TikTok coffee hacks. This went a lot better than last time. If you remember last time we were drinking chunky avocado through a straw. So by the fact that we just ended with a vanilla espresso milkshake, I, I think we're, we're improving things. I think we have found some actual keepers that will work in the future outside of just testing in a video. If there are any other TikTok coffee hacks and or trends that you have seen floating around, feel free to send them my way because I am always looking to try new things as this channel is a great testament to. But more so than that, I'd love to know if there are any that you perhaps don't wanna try but want to know how they work because I'm I'm here to be your guinea pig, if you will. All the original videos and TikToks that we use to reference for today's videos and hacks will be linked in the description down below, as well as the last video I did testing out TikTok coffee hacks, if you would like to check that one out as well. I think I'm gonna head off and finish this wonderful, delicious thing that we've created here today. I am Morgan Drinks Coffee on almost all platforms that I'm active on. I'm here on YouTube once a week for a main video and once a week for a short, so feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram at Morgan Drinks Coffee where I post content almost daily at this point. If you want any other things or want to know what else is going on with me, feel free to look at the description down below. I will have plenty of links, so many links and packs. There, there are merch links, there are trip links, there's just all sorts of fun, interesting little things. So. With that being said, I'm off and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See you guys next time. <laughs>